Right, uh, another one. I'll just keep doing a few of these word problems. Um, okay, so, looks like a nice quadratic equation already there for us. x squared minus 40x plus 2100. But it says, right, find the number of units x, again you're finding x, manufactured at a cost c, think about it, of 3300. So I'm trying to get to say this is, is that 3300 is the cost, I'm going to stick that right there. Okay, in other words, 3300 equals x squared minus, ooh, excuse me, <coughs> 40x plus 2100. Oh dear, you know. Problem with this is when the numbers get too big, it gets a little bit silly. Okay? Right, okay, so that's me just setting it up, all right? That's just a setup. In other words, that's the cost, 3300, so that's the thing where I'm going to put, you know, where the C is. Um, and it still equals x squared minus 40x plus 2100. Now remember, we need to put it equal to zero, okay? So I'm going to take away 3300 from both sides, all right? Get rid of that, and that will put it equal to zero. So I've now got x squared minus 40x. Now then, right, if I take away 3300 from here, uh, what's that? Is that negative 1,200? Oh, help me. I might have to cheat on this one. Okay. So, um, I'll try to avoid huge numbers on the test, okay? But anyway, here it goes. Two numbers that make <laughs> negative 1,200 when you multiply, that make negative 40 when you add. I have no idea. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to cheat. The cost of money but it gives, it, look at there we go. See that? I, I mean, you might be off the page here, but uh, right, okay. So I just cheated. Um, apparently, it's difference of oh, sixty and twenty. Yeah, sixty times twenty. Okay, so sixty times twenty is one thousand two hundred, and the difference of sixty and twenty is forty. But you know, okay. So more negatives so and negative sixty and positive 20, okay? Now, um, here's when the, the real life situation comes in the fact this is a real, you know, it's proper numbers, it's manufacturing, number of units. So, from this one, remember what are the zeros, what makes it zero? This would be positive 60 for this one, okay? And negative 20 for this one, all right? Because that's what they make it zero. Now, this is the way you just have to say, there's no such thing as negative 20 in manufacturing, okay? I, I mean, it is 60 units. The real life situation, we're not going to have negative numbers, all right? So this is the real world. So that last one with just here's a couple of numbers could be anything. So the answer is there. That's it. That's the answer. Uh, it's 60 units, not negative one, negative 20, sorry. So I think the problem with that one is, is it's just the hard numbers for you to find what are the two numbers. And even as instructors, we're going, I have no idea. So um, we'll try and make the numbers smaller.